ride on this. Like, we won't get a ride on this. I won't go anywhere. Hey, Blakey. I'm not enjoying it. Welcome back to another epic adventure as we travel through the Saudi Arabian desert again. We've got myself and James on e-bikes and we have Kirby on a regular enduro bike. So let's see if he can keep up with us. If you didn't manage to catch the first adventure that we went on through the Saudi Arabian desert, click the tag on the screen now. And while you're at it, you might as well go and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, for now, let's get straight into the adventure. Let's go. So we drove two hours into the mountains to try and find a cool spot for us to go on an adventure. We found a cool little spot, looked on Google Maps to see if there looked like a rideable route and we just sent it. So there's an element of freestyle on this journey and we're just gonna see where the road takes us. Just look at the scenery around us. Honestly, we, none of us was looking where we was going. We was too busy looking at the rocks around us. No wonder why we were about to get lost. I forgot to put the brake pad block in the calipers during transit and the brake lever got pressed on our travels and now my front brake won't stop singing to me. How annoying. Let's see how long I can put up with that before I end up having to take the front wheel out and do something about it. At this point we are deep into the desert now so there is no data, no Wi-Fi, no signal and no GPS. So because none of us was actually paying attention to the route that we were supposed to be going on and we had our heads up in the mountains, we actually did a 2K detour having to turn around. We need to be on the other side of this trench. So we're gonna have to hop this trench and get on the right path. We're just riding along minding our own business and we've already gained the attention of the locals obviously they just wanted to come and say hello one of them even got out of the truck to take a picture with us and made us feel yeah. so famous UK. <laughs> but yeah UK. super friendly nice guys Jack Tones. Down? Yes. Down. Subscribe. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. See you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. arrived at our destination I was so preoccupied by the scenery around us that I totally forgot to start the Strava app. Better late than never hey? So yeah let's get going.
How you doing, Kirby? Okay, I can't take it anymore. The front wheel needs to go out. I need to sort this front brake out. I can't carry on this journey with a front brake screaming at me like that. It's just not fun. And just like our voices bouncing off these rocks, so is our GPS signal. None of us have any GPS signal on our phones. It keeps bouncing off our rocks. It can't pick up yeah, where we are. So we are fully freestyling it at this point. There is no GPS to lead the way, no way of determining a route. We have to go old school style and follow the sun. The terrain is so unpredictable. We keep hitting soft sand, then it goes hard again, then it's rocky, and then it goes back to being soft, and it's slowing us down. <laughs> and as you can see, the sun is starting to lower in the sky, so we need to hurry up. We have no idea where we are at this point. Completely lost. There is a phone there. Eh? desert as we're gonna end up like this. So it turns out we're not the only ones stuck in the desert. This guy here has gone and got his car fully buried in the sand, complete soft sand. It's bad enough on bikes, let alone in a vehicle. That's where and look stuff. at the driver, he looks about 12 years old. He's stolen his dad's car. So this whole adventure so far, we've been avoiding the sand dunes and going round them. However, it feels like it's leading us further and further into the desert. And we don't have all the time in the world. So we're like, right, now's the time. Let's go up and over the sand dune. What are we doing, Kirby? And this is how it went. Oh, oh. We can. <laughs> oh, my bike is so heavy. Fuck. Oh, this is not fun. I can't ride on this. Like, we won't be able to ride on this. I won't go anywhere. <laughs> oh. We're gonna start hallucinating soon. Dude, where's my wheel going? For memories, huh? We'll remember the time we climbed the dune <laughs> with our bikes. <laughs> and it'll remind us never to do it again. I know, but it just... You think you're near the top and it just keeps going. <laughs> Mate, my feet. Mate. Kirby is quite calm about the situation. 
fair play to you. I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> and as you can see guys going down the dune was probably just as much effort as it was to get up here what an anti-climax that was okay the sun's starting to set now it won't be long before the sun is behind the mountains and we will be in complete darkness instincts that is all we have to go off our instincts and uh, let's hope that that's correct and we end up back at the road because we are running out of time my knees to my waist. How's your ride Kirby? It's been one hell. All in one package! <laughs> it's just about getting dark now, the sun's just gone behind the mountains and uh, we're on our final stretch to complete our journey. It's been eventful huh? <laughs> Climb sand dunes. We had loads of locals come and say hello. We had lots of soft sand. We had some rocky bits. Definitely when you cross country through the desert. It's been epic though, huh? Fair play to you. Me and James are on e-bikes. Kirby's on a regular bike. But yeah. So cheers for coming back to watch another video, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Big love, big respect. Do you want to do my outro, Kirby? Yeah! Go subscribe, Jackson! <laughs> you know what's good, let's go. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers for coming back.